Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. Recently I did a video on deep live cam where I showed you in a step by step tutorial as how to get it installed locally and privately and I also shared the code with you on my blog and I gave the link in the video's description. First really thank you for a very very positive response on the video much much appreciated and I believe that it helped out so many people. Uh, having said that there are a few questions which I wanted to address so I thought of making this video and also sharing with you a few more tips which you can use if you already have installed or if you are struggling to install. First let's address that. Again I would highly suggest that before you start installation make sure to watch my video and then especially go to my blog and read through all the steps which I have covered there. And let me show you again how can you access it. So open my video. I'm not going to play it again. Okay, that is fine. So if you go down and then just click on more here. And then from here, you see this is the code button. Maybe let me make it a bit bigger so that if you are unable to see it, there you go, much better. So you see there is a, this code link. Just click on this code and it is going to open this blog. Now here, um, you see this is the installation instruction step by step which you need to follow and very very importantly make sure that you install all the prerequisites which include this python version 3.10 ffmpeg git everything and then git clone the repo and then make sure that you download these two models and place them i know this is not very 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 well formatted my apologies for that i'm going to fix it soon but still the whole command is there and then make sure that once you um, git clone the repo you run this line you need to run all the lines but i see that few of the people they are missing this line so this is one thing i wanted to reiterate that all of the commands everything i did which I have installed this tool is already there all you need to do is to copy paste and just follow it in sequence please don't miss any of the steps plus um, many people are asking which cuda version to use Look, I used this CUDA version 11.8, uh, but I have seen that some um, it also works in higher versions. But for the sake of completion, make sure to use this CUDA version 11.8, which this is what I'm using. Now, if you are using CUDA, make sure to put CUDA at the end, just like I did here. Otherwise, it won't run. Now, this is one thing. Another thing which people have been asking a lot in terms of this um, is around which gpu to use look i have, i have tried it on uh, a10g nvidia a10g with 24 gpu of vram it worked i tried it out on higher one of course it worked i have tried it out on 16 gpu of vram it, it struggled but maybe you uh, for you it might not struggle it has worked on 3090 1490 but I think as long as you have a GPU, GPU VRAM around uh, over 24 GB or 30, 32 GB VRAM, you should be good. Anything less, you might struggle. So that is what I am telling you my, from my experience. It could be wrong. So best bet is whatever GPU you have, try it out. And if you don't have a GPU, then look, you don't have to buy a GPU. You can just simply go and rent a GPU. And if you go to my, again, if you go to my video's description, you will see that uh, this is my uh, GPU which I use. So this is from Mast Compute. You can get 50% discount on this GPU A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you use this link plus this coupon code with my name and just click on this link, use this coupon code and you should be rented out for very, very cheap prices. Like I think maybe even 50 cent, even less than that from masked compute from this link. So this is another option. You don't have to use it. You can use whatever GPU rental you want, but this is what I use. So because people are saying that GPUs are very expensive, you don't have to buy it. You just have to rent it, use it, and then stop it. That's it. So a few dollars. And if you're really keen to run it, that is, if you just don't want to run it, that is another story. So that is, uh, these are the few things which I wanted to share now. In terms of future, let's have a quick look at a couple of features which I wanted to throw some light upon. Let me launch my um, deep life cam locally here. 
so this is my deep live cam i already have it installed and running again you do if you don't, don't know it i just showed you the video and i will also again drop the link to that in this video's uh, description plus in the first comment so that you can access that installation video so install it and once you have it running like this then the first question was around many faces so that if it means that if you have uh, for example there are a few other things too but uh, the most important is that if you have an image with multiple faces like this is the image where we have some of these um, Bollywood actors now if you if your image has multiple faces then what you can do you can just turn on this many faces here as I have done that's it uh, this is what you need to do and then this is my video so select a face select a target click on start I already have created a video on it um, because what would happen is once you create this video you see there is another extra step for face enhancing so you see this is the one which I'm talking about and this takes around you see close to six minutes so if you don't turn it on it is going to be very quick around just over one minute it took to process all the frames and it was 9.5 frames per second right but if you're doing it uh, like for face enhancement it is going to take long time because it enhances the uh, face so let me click here you see I have turned on the face enhances it makes it more glowy and stuff now you see um, what I'm saying here is uh, let me show you the video now so this is the one it created and I'm just going to run it in a windows play let's wait for it to open so look at the quality of this video let me play it so it has just picked up one image from that multiple images and look at it, it has also enhances of um, face you can see that uh, at one side there is a light so, and then the face is enhanced so I would suggest that if you have a good GPU make sure to enhance the face it will really improve your video um, and face swap a lot Another question which was asked was that okay if we have closed out our software and we restart our system and just try to run it again what we need to do all you need to do is to go to in that directory deep live cam and run this command again run.py with execution provider CUDA if you are using CUDA and then press enter and it is going to, and don't panic if it doesn't fire up immediately you see I have run it and it's been few seconds it hasn't fired up it will uh, first time it takes around I have seen it even uh, taking around 32 uh, seconds to one minute so just be patient let it load because it checks a lot of things and then uh, load it into your GPU so that is what is happening at the moment it also loads the models in the memory so uh, don't panic if that happens there you go so you see it took around more than 30 seconds to load it so then just expand it and from here um, again we already have checked it so not safe for work it means that if you can use any adult images but if you don't want to use it you want to have a safe ethical way just go with uh, turn it on um, and then you can also do the face, face enhancer if you like and then let me uh, just for the sake of it maybe go with Sylvester and then for the target one let me select my video just click on video here and then select any of your videos I have just selected mine and then uh, click on start so I'm doing it without um, just or maybe outputs output is fine so just save it and let's wait for it and if you want to see the progress then simply you can just check it out here where it is showing you what it needs to do Or of course you can keep an eye on this um, option here extracting frames just underneath live and now look at me as Sylvester or Rambo as we know him looks really good how good is this tool really I'm, you can have limitless fun with it really good stuff amazing amazing stuff okay the final parting gift let me also create a video around Al Pacino maybe I'll just quickly create it maybe we'll uh, I'll just close this one first 
then maybe i'll just go with or maybe charlie chaplin let me make a fun of myself i'm just going to start it and then we'll see how it go so it is running at the moment another question which i got very frequently was that you see that at the top left it says not responding so don't worry about it don't kill it it is just the way it is um, the software is because windows uses multi threading so somehow it just gets stuck so but it is not stuck it is just progressing so don't kill it just wait for it and it might take bit of a time but let it run please okay so let's wait for it to finish and goodness me look at the charlie chaplin one let me play it oh my god that is horrendous okay <laughs> but it's funny i mean nonetheless it's interesting look at mustache <laughs> yeah it's it's good fun amazing stuff Okay, and finally, let me do the Charlie um, Al Pacino one because you already saw the Charlie Chaplin one, right? So this is the one I'm talking about. Let me play it again. I'm not sure if I had shown you this or not. This is crazy. This is ultra crazy. Oh my goodness! Horrendous. Okay, so I'll just wait for this to finish, and then we will call it a day. and that is done i haven't washed it so let's wash it together i'm just going to open it there you go much better al pacino is really good yeah that looks uh, al pacino is good anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this tool um and this uh, if still you have any other questions let me know happy to answer them and do me a favor please and subscribe to the channel if you're already subscribed again do me a favor and please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching